Warning, this entry of Dick and Maddox is done in the style of Dick Masterson and is therefore incredibly offensive and done completely off the cuff with no script, no preparation, nothing. Viewer discretion is advised. Dick Masterson is a pathetic worm. Joe is King Critic. Watch out for his alien gun. I had a whole freaking thing that I had put in a good hour of editing into maybe that I was going to do and I was going to deconstruct everything Dick had said in recent episodes bit by bit and say why it was all crap. But you know what? Who freaking cares now? Dick has gone full on drama alert and he's turned the show into just a pure mess of, you know, so-called hot goss. Episode 18 was an embarrassment. And I guess what I'm just going to do here is state the two points in episode 18 that I thought were so stupid and embarrassing, besides the general format of basically making a two-hour-long reaction video where there was more filler than a leafy is here piece of sh Dick's moronic fans will believe anything he says. It's unbelievable. Dick screamed at a fan for an entire segment and never let him talk, and yet many people believed that Dick had won that exchange with his masses of personal insults, ad hominem attacks, straw men, etc. Dick is a stupid asshole. He takes no responsibility for all the horrible moves that he pulled, including stealing another guy's girlfriend. It doesn't matter if she's an ex. It's a major violation of guy code. Everyone knows that. You don't go off with some other guy's girlfriend. So he brags about this at the end of episode 18, like he's such a god for it. And of course, everyone gets on their knees. But guess what? That's a scumbag move. Maddox has every right to be angry about that. I don't agree with the accusation Maddox made about rape apologists. Or rather, the accusation that Dick is a rape apologist, I should specify. I don't agree with it. However, I also don't agree with making your stupid hour-long episode of drama alert. I'm sorry, two-hour-long episode of drama alert. F*** you, Dick. You stupid moron. I wonder what the next episode of Dick holds. I will listen to it, but I don't hold out much hope for it to be a real show instead of a constant pool of drama. Now, I know that's popular content. I know people like it, but I don't. I think it's incredibly stupid. Here's what I think is the most stupid. I think that Dick calling it the job at Lynch Mob is almost a complete lie. And here's why. Dax Herrera is a co-founder of a tech company. He has a good, well-paying day job. He does not need comedy for income. And you guys buying into the Patreon in droves are stupid suckers. His content is highly paywalled. You can't get anything for less than $5, and it's obscene. On that note, I should also make reference to episode 18 of Maddox's show, where he did say he was thinking about doing a Patreon for the show. Maddox, don't. Don't copy this bullcrap. Both what Jesse does and what Dick does is bullcrap. Patreon paywalled content that is not strictly speaking bonus content that doesn't matter much should not exist. And if you are going to paywall anything, it should be for a very low cost. Nothing above the $3 tier. Anyway, returning to the previous point. Dick pretends he's a character, but he's not. He's just Dax Herrera, a guy who works a well-paying tech job during the day and does comedy bullcrap at night. And you know what? He's probably still going to be reasonably funny in the future, and I'll probably somewhat get over this. But I'm so sick of the show as it stands, as mostly a drama show, and he's already run out of guests, and he doesn't treat disagreeing callers with any respect, and it's sad and pathetic. Meanwhile, Maddox's show shows constant improvement, even though it's had a slow few weeks leading up to episode 18, because of slow news weeks. Now, yes, I think slow news weeks do need to be filled with better content that's not necessarily as topical, but the fact of the matter is, bad episodes do happen. Around episode 13 or 14, I believe it was, the show really hit its stride. They started changing up the format. It was less based on Maddox and more an actual debate between Maddox and other people. It's getting pretty good. Occasionally, I dare say it even feels a good bit like Biggest, which is a godsend. Now, just because there's been some bad episodes since then does not mean that it is a bad show. And actually, none of the episodes since then, in my opinion, have been 
bad per se. There have just been episodes that were weaker than others, particularly the Colin Kaepernick episode. If any episode would be qualified as a bad episode, I would say it would be that one. By the way, Colin Kaepernick is a mixed race cuck. Dude's a privileged ass half white guy who doesn't even look black. I guarantee he's rarely if ever pulled over by cops and he's whining about all this Black Lives Matters bullshit. I'm just joking around partially. I do agree. Black people shouldn't just get shot all the time by cops like is clearly happening right now. And I understand where he's coming from, but I think he's a grandstanding attention whore for using his platform as an NFL superstar for all that crap and disrupting the general procedures of the NFL. And as a result, many high school and college sports as well. Generally, sports is bullshit this fall. Thanks to Colin Kaepernick. F*** Colin Kaepernick. He can go die in a fire. I also want to remind everybody that Maddox made this video after months of everyone badgering him to make this video. Now, it had one, I think, bad claim in the video. And granted, this did come after a very poorly timed and in bad taste AMA that was actually a fake by Jesse on Pod Awful, where Maddox was allegedly going to answer some questions, but it didn't happen because it was all a gag. However, besides that one bad claim in the video at the end, everything else in the video is pretty darn solid and not even refuted by Dick in his episode. Dick claims that it was pretty clear, or at least in his opinion, he thinks it should have been pretty clear that he didn't like Maddox. However, that does not give him the excuse to talk about Maddox like he did behind his back as shown in that infamous screenshot. Why does everyone want to just excuse that? It's incredibly unprofessional and incredibly amoral. Oh right, the Titanic and Maddox lost bit. That's important to talk about too. What Dick said on the show regarding that was ridiculous. Maddox offered Dick plenty of good alternatives that would have worked just fine and still been funny for implementation of the Titanic and Maddox lost bit. In fact, some of them I really would have wanted to see, such as, as an example, weekly contests between Dick and Maddox. That would have been hilarious. I would have loved to have seen what they would have come up with every week and seen the hilarity when Dick won. So when Dick says, no, it wouldn't have been funny, so he effectively killed the bit, Dick is either being an incredible perfectionist, not willing to compromise at all, which, by the way, is selfish on his part and hurts us, the fans, because we all wanted the Titanic bit back, and I'm sure most of us wouldn't have minded if it was in another context, or just outright misleading his gullible viewers, I mean listeners. Now, to be fair, the show was a lot worse after the bit went away. Honestly, I do think that Maddox should have just let Dick have his way with that bit, but Maddox took the voting more seriously than most of the rest of us took the voting. To me, the voting was not the main point of the show, but Maddox took it very seriously and I can respect that. And to be extra fair, I'll say something nice about Dick as well. The Burning Man episode was great. None of the stupid drama crap for the first time in a while and the last time in a while. That was a good episode, and I genuinely enjoyed it. Of course, then he went right back to the same old crap, but I still gotta give credit where credit is due. Alright, so I don't really agree with the whole attempt at getting Dick crucified, just like I don't agree with Dick crucifying Maddox. They are both at fault in this situation to varying extents. How much each one is at fault is a difference of individual perspective, but Maddox has a lot of listeners who we don't hear from as much because Maddox still needs to get his freaking site updated, which is not his fault. I mean, he's working on the book and he's not really the one working on the website, I don't think. But yeah, we do need comments on his website, so we're not just this silent majority of podcast listeners. Moral of the story? Just don't crucify people, jeez. Similarly, I know a lot of Dick fans are gonna watch this and I ask you not to crucify me if you hate this video. Just leave a dislike and tell me to get raped in the comments or whatever the hell. Subscribe to King Critic.